Okay, great morning. This morning I'm going to see if I can pull one from the Lenormand Cahil Gibran's The Prophet and the Messenger Oracle. Let's see what the universe is giving me to speak on today. Okay, sun. Share your thoughts. And let there be in your heart a song for each cup, eating and drinking. Okay. Okay, so shedding light on some things, new opportunities coming in. <clears throat> so we should have gratitude for everything that we take in, eating and drinking, not only physically eating and drinking, but what you are imbibing spiritually or what you're imbibing in the just the physical world, okay? What is it you're taking in? Where are you getting your information from? Okay, sometimes, yes, it's good to share your thoughts. Sometimes you get inspiration or light or direction from something that somebody else has said or experienced and is sharing. Okay, that's why it's so important to have your tribe um, and hopefully your tribe is the tribe of humanity that you are not isolated into a you know um, a little clicky group hopefully it's more expansive than that um, so yeah it, it also on the internet you know we are doing so much internet and there's so much information and thoughts about others and what they're saying that continue to come in okay so um while it's good to share your thoughts it's also good to be a bit selective about what you're taking in okay um But the most important thing, what I'm getting with this, is to have gratitude. Gratitude for what we have, um, for the things that we have. Uh, now it's, it's difficult because so many have lost their jobs or just hanging on to it. Um, and so things are not as easy as they are. Also, maybe to be ha having gratitude for our health, especially at this time. 
um, we have to watch the road we're walking on and continue to be prepared. Continue to share your thoughts on, you know, again, uh, what is beneficial to keep you safe out there from the virus. They have new strains coming in that said it's uh, the new strain that's coming in makes it easier to catch. Okay, so we have to be doubly, doubly uh, careful about masking and and doing all we can. Uh, keep your hands washed. Keep your hands clean. If you can get something like Hippocleanse, which is uh, gets rid of germs for up to 24 hours. It's better than alcohol and these other hand sanitizers they have out there. Um, but even in these times, these difficult times where people are, some people are worried and some people still think it's a joke. Okay. Um, and they're not taking any of these things seriously and it is still so important okay um, had some guy on the thing this morning the comment and I just deleted him that says well you have to listen don't listen to tarot readers on you know you have to listen to medical science and Obviously, he doesn't listen to anything I say, okay? That he just saw the title and is going to jump in there. And, you know, I always tell people to be safe. I always tell people. So, again, this is somebody that jumps in, doesn't listen to a thing, and just runs their mouth, okay? <laughs> And yes, everyone needs to continue to be safe. The new strain, like I said, that's coming in from Europe, they said is is um, easier to catch. They said it's not any more deadly, but I, I don't know how they could say not any more deadly. Something that's there that can kill you, I say is pretty deadly. Okay. So again, we need to uh, continue to be safe. Also, you know, with the reading this morning, I know it's kind of all over the place this morning. Um, for whatever reason, it simply is. But again, you know, it's we have opportunities that come up. Okay. <clears throat> the, there is a platform here to share your thoughts. Okay. So you have the opportunity to hear, to share, share your thoughts. And to, again, wherever you're at, Hopefully, you you feel like a gratitude that you're getting something, a benefit that you're taking in. Okay. So, it's important, again, for your physical diet, spiritual diet, mental diet. Watch what you're taking in. Taking in things that, again, will leave a song in your heart. Okay that you have gratitude for. If you don't, if it's not something that's benefiting you and educating you in a beneficial way, then maybe it's something that maybe you should take in small doses, okay? If it is going to, um, now it's important, that being said, it's important to have the latest facts on the viruses and that type of thing for your physical health. But to get too caught up in the political nonsense, uh, if it is disturbing your mental health, you're losing sleep, you know, then it might be better to back off of it for a time. And just take some time out to, to have things that you can have a song for in your heart. Now, I like this one. Now, this is not very distinctive, but if you see here, he's got little teeth here. So it's like a wolf, a wolf there howling, you know. 
they get out there and they howl and communicate. You know, that, that that's his song in his heart, the wolf. <laughs> howl! <laughs> For what they have, gratitude. There we go. A wolf's gratitude. Um, and she doesn't look too perturbed about things. <clears throat> Although I think for this card, she looks a little somber, okay? <laughs> so anyway, the main thing today is uh, be willing to share your thoughts. Maybe your thoughts have something, some light. We have the light and the dark here both. Although that's not a very beneficial looking creature, is it? I have to say, but... Don't let looks disturb you. Maybe actually they have something of value to say. Okay. We have the light and we have the dark. You know, um, if you see it's something of the dark, then maybe it's time to, um, to kind of put them on hold. Um, and don't take it in because we don't want people's mental health to be disturbed, okay? We want to shed light on things. Sometimes we hear some of this nonsense, and, and we can't miss it when you get ones like the tangerine tyrant out there, okay, and we hear about all the Twitter nonsense he's putting out on an hourly basis, that anything that challenges or is edifying, he says, is a hoax. I had somebody today on the thing that said, and I suppose you, you think the, the Russian thing is real. <laughs> Obviously a Trump pansy. <laughs> and said, yeah, you know, if you, if you had lived... Basically, if you live in Florida, you'd know he's a grifter. He's a longtime grifter, con artist, liar, and thief. So if you want to believe that the Russia thing is a hoax, you be my guest, okay? But, uh, yeah, he's a longtime grifter, liar, thief, okay? So, anyway, that's another story entirely. Anyway, come here and be willing to share. Sometimes um, you never know when your words that are going to help someone. Okay. Um, sometimes it's the things that you think are not so important that you say that really uh, hits somebody in a way that aids them and helps them to move forward in their own life. So let's continue to share, walk this road together, shed light on what's what's here. You know, the beneficial things and the things that are not beneficial that we know that are happening to keep informed so people can make informed decisions, okay? And maybe start um, seeing something of value uh, that they can, um, opportunity, new opportunities coming in for them, okay? So let's, as a group, as a tribe, continue to bring light out there as much as possible, share thoughts. Um, I have some questions people have asked and they're not, they're not necessarily ones that need readings but I'm going to do a video after this and address some questions that people have had. So maybe I'll start doing that if it, people are sending some questions in that really it's not something that you need to read on um, that I can uh, go ahead and give what I can give on that, that end. Anyway, so hopefully somebody's gotten something out of this mishmash today. <laughs> Oh, mercy. And I'm enjoying, I don't know if you can see over here. Well, it looks a little more. You can tell here it's a little more of the blue. If I get over here in the dark, it looks black, but it's not black. It's a very 
very nice uh, blue. Let's see if I can get over here. Well, it still doesn't pick up the color so well. Um, but it is my little blue one. So I keep this for my lighter tea. This is going for my white peony, aged and unaged. <laughs> this morning I'm having the regular white peony, but maybe this afternoon I will switch to the aged peony. Anyway, it's a very nice light tea. And uh, very enjoyable. Very enjoyable. It's got a little bit of a kind of a juicy sweetness. It doesn't feel like some teas that astringent dryness. This does not have that. Um, the more that I'm drinking tea, the more I'm developing an ability to um, find the various nuances in them. Okay, I'm still, I, I have to admit, I'm still not a green tea drinker. I don't know for whatever reason, um, it's not one that I really enjoy. Which is interesting because I very much enjoyed um, some of the Japanese culture. But then again, some of the Japanese culture is is a bit strange and these days it's going in a very strange way okay they are not um, because it has been a culture that is so steeped in um, you know you work their whole ethic has been revolved around work um, they hardly see their families, the salary men, okay? Uh, most of the marriages have been those that have been um, arranged marriages. Um, you really meant there to not show emotion, okay? Really, the English thing of the stiff upper lip you know, really plays into their culture. And they've been so now more isolated that they've been doing the manga. The manga gets a, a very sexualized. That's kind of like their Playboy, where they're, you know, the manga stuff. And they're very much into the um, computer that they no longer know how to make relationship, okay? So they're having a very difficult time there in relationship. Um, yeah, and that's come out of the culture. It's just gotten more and more radical to where now they don't know how to connect. Um, each person is, like I said, very isolated. And their culture, as far as the salary men working and stuff, like I said, they do their, they do their business in the bars. They don't do it during business hours. They do it at the bars, okay? So the culture has become very, um, you know, it looks very, uh, how do I want to say it, proper from the outside, that everybody is, you know, you're bowing to each other, and so it looks, but really behind the scenes, they're thinking, <laughs> and to the face, they said, thank you so much, welcome. <laughs> behind the scenes, what they're thinking is very mass. <laughs> anyway, so it's got one, one dynamic on the face of it, 
and another dynamic on the back. It's like they like the, what they call hopper gene, the, the um, hapa, the half. They like the ones that look Asian and, and American blend, but they don't want to marry them. But they put them on a pedestal for doing, um, they like to use them for advertising and stuff, but they would never want to marry one. So it's like I said, it's a very strange dynamic and kids are pushed to succeed. There are so many suicides there. They go out to this one place for suicide, this uh, forest, and they find all these hanging bodies and stuff out there. It's just everyone's supposed to have their place and they have a saying, the nail that sticks out will be pounded down. Everybody has got to be more um, group, group think, group think. Again, they, they like the um, artists, the artistry, but the artists are a little too far out for them. Okay, so again, it's got this strange dichotomy going um, when you actually get into the culture. Okay, things that are held up in one hand are looked down on on another. They like the art, but the artist is too far out there. I can't deal with it. They like the blend of the face, but to, oh, to culturally, to marry to, to one of them. No, 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 that's not going to happen. So again, it's this very strange dichotomy that goes on in um, Japanese culture. And their culture is breaking down in a different way. Like I said, they've lost the ability, which is sad, for interpersonal relationship, that you always have to have this mask, okay? Um, and you're not allowed to speak your mind, your truth, to be the authentic person, okay? You always have to have this mask, public mask. And so since this has been frowned upon for so long, being an authentic person, they are losing that ability on communication and openness. So I guess that's why that's coming forward now, because we're talking about speaking your truth, speaking, you know, sharing your ideas and things. And this has become lost, unfortunately, in Japan, with the, very much so with the younger generation. Um, yeah, if you're ever interested in cultures, maybe look up the Japanese sexuality and things that are going on now in Japan, and you'll see that they're very um, isolated. They stay stuck in that man manga, the, um, those comic books and stuff, and doing the games, but very isolated and really not able to... Um, have open dialogue, especially with somebody of the opposite sex. So I get that's a very sad thing to see that's happening there, um, that they're losing this ability or afraid to be judged. Um, so, so many restrictions have been there <clears throat> to cultivate this sort of a samurai type of thing, I want to say, you know, is, is samurai used to be um, the warrior and they would defend a certain family name. They would be under them, okay? They would die for them and honor 
this idea of honor is still there. If you lose face, you know, you might as well commit seppuku, commit suicide if you lose face. So it's about presenting and cultivating this cultural mask. Um, which has all of its do's and don'ts in place. Okay. Um, but it's really a, uh, losing your humanity in a way, losing some part of your humanity. Now, they have all these rules and regulations, like if you go to visit somebody, you should take a gift. Uh, was it? Oh. No, it's, that's, oh, I can't remember the name of it now, but you should always take a gift and present it. Um, so you have a lot of do's and don'ts, but it's... Um, People have lost the uh, lost the blessing, I guess you could say, behind it. Okay. So anyway, I'm going to leave this here now. You know, sometimes spirit has me go off on a jaunt. I don't know where I'm going. Where I begin with this. <laughs> There's never ever any a manufactured talk. Things are quiet here and it just things just communicate and flow through. Okay. So I hope this has helped someone out there. Um, you know, it's it's good to be uh, it's it's good to be part of a community in a culture, but it's not good to become a robot and lose your humanity <clears throat> that is so, uh, becomes isolated and so repressed due to uh, these cultural norms that are expected, okay, um, to the point of closing down your sense of um, personal sense here. The things of beauty that make you you, okay? Those things of beauty that make you you, those should never be afraid to be shared with another, okay? You have to become open. You have to have some sense of vulnerability <clears throat> that you're willing to put out there in order to have a connection <clears throat> or else you will develop this space which is going through the motions but it becomes very robot robotic mechanical okay and you don't want to become mechanical and losing that beautiful sense of uniqueness, of interests, of, you know, those things to share with another human being. Okay, so I'm going to leave this here. Much love and light to everyone. Please, please take this seriously. <clears throat> like I said, there's a new strain, they say, coming in from Europe, which makes it easier to catch. Oh, that's just what we needed to hear, isn't it? But it's the truth of it and something we need to pay attention to. Okay. Not something we need to be, you know, in total fear of. But please just use precautions. Be wise in what you're doing. And we go forward step by step, okay? Much love and light to everyone. Thank you for spending time with me this morning. If you've enjoyed it, please click the thumbs up. It does help the videos to be seen, to be shared with others. Speaking of sharing today, and if there's any of my videos that you enjoy, please share them. 
whether you Facebook or wherever you want to share them, please feel free to do that. So love and light to everyone.